Hello and welcome to another one of our videos where we share with you the stuff that we have bought at a car boot uh, with a view to making money or keeping it for ourselves or whatever. Yep. So, uh, first thing, <clears throat> and it's a good one. Okay, what you got there? It is a, a, I can't pronounce it, it's a Mito, a Mito Toyo, isn't it? A Mito Toyo uh, caliper or, or vernier, I think they call them vernier, ga vernier gauges. Um, and uh, this one uh, cost me a pound, okay, mm -hmm. uh, complete with its little case. nifty little case. Yep. And uh, I've had a look, and these go for uh, the cheapest one was ten pound, wasn't it, on eBay? Yep. Um, but they average about fifteen. So uh, uh, nice little earner, I would say. I would definitely that one. say so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Money can, in your pocket. Can you deal with that, Lee? Oh, I can. It is. Okay. Uh, uh, Lee, this is not a wallet. It's a, it's a sort of airport style. Um, well, it's Dunhill, Dunhill International. Okay, it's a wallet sized. Um, Bring your passport. To, flight, a airport traveling wallet. Boarding pass tickets, it, uh, that sort of thing. Well, it's got airline tickets. Yep. Passports. Yep. Uh, cards, baggage checks, landing tickets, and. I've travelers, these myself. Travelers checks and the travelers checks. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether it means travelers checks as in checking stuff or whether it's actually, checks no, as in the American yeah. spelling of travelers checks, checks that you can exchange for goods and services yeah, I abroad. I it means that, not Okay, um, but uh, nice, nice leather, and it's um, it's been well looked after. I had a look on eBay and I couldn't find one of these, so I've no idea how much it is. Oh, so it's is, a genuine. But, uh, okay. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yep. Very, very nice. Probably 1930s, 40s, 50s, something like that. Yep. And uh, it cost me the uh, the uh, grand total of 50p. Wow. Okay, so that's a good we'll see. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, a spot of art, oh, or, okay, or, or yep. rather. It, it's sort of, it is a print, okay, yeah, but... Okay. Um, Do you know what, I'll hold it, you talk about it. Yeah, I'm just keeping it at an angle because of the oh, reflection. Okay, yeah. That's that's why I'm holding it at an angle. Okay. And um, it's it's not, uh, it, it, it's actually done really, really nicely. Um, two, two little children on a beach, great stuff. It says, E, E van Gotham. Okay, I didn't bother looking it up. But uh, it's a nice piece. It is a print, even though it looks like a, a, um, a watercolour. It is a print, and uh, it's it's in a nice nice frame, possibly nineteen sixties or seventies, and um, it's got the original wire, and it's well presented. And I I paid I paid a pound for it, and. Uh, it's not worth me putting this uh, on eBay, I don't think. I think on this one I'm going to pass it on to one of my antique you know, antique dealer friends and we'll split the money or something. Okay. Um, but there we go. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I think that might go for 10 or 20 pounds. Oh, like I think, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, next item, little uh, trinket, trinket box inlaid with brass all the way around. Um, I think there, I think there's sort of uh, plenty of these made in probably India. It's sort of vel lined with velvet. Nice, a nice little thing. It's got an attractive sort of. I don't know whether that's glass or plastic. It's hard to tell, but um, I, I don't know. I have no idea about these, but um, it's it's definitely worth the 50p I yeah. paid for it. So yeah, definitely. I reckon that that's. Do going it. to make either a few pounds on eBay, but I'm probably I'm probably not going to bother. I'm probably going to put that straight back on my car boot stall in a few weeks' time. Okay, uh, for a, maybe a couple of pounds. Yeah, and then I quadruple my money. Okay, next item. Oh, uh, uh, next item is a it's a, a British Railways. General appendix to working timetables and books of rules and regulations, and it says first October 1960. Okay, I don't know anything about this sort of thing. 
uh, but I know that some people collect this sort of thing. Um, another 50p item, but that's going to go straight back on my car boot um, because uh, I uh, well, it, it, I may I may just get my money back. I may you know it's a it's a bit of a gamble. Yeah. But uh, but there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Next item, and I don't think I've. I don't think I've made you any money on this. You have been busy this week. Okay. Uh, Coldplay Live 2003. It's got all the music in there. Paid 50p for it. A lot of things are 50p. Have you noticed that? Everything seems to be 50p these days. Very rarely do I buy something for 25. It's always, take 50p. Go on then. And um, I, I honestly thought uh, that this might be... Um, uh, I thought this might be worth going for but I don't think so uh, I might lose money on this uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, liven up my store by putting this in my 50p, <laughs> 50p box so I don't think I, I had a hunch yeah. but the hunch was wrong but you're not going to lose shows my, shows my lack of knowledge okay okay and uh, finally in this video okay <sighs> have you seen one of these before? Brilliant. it glows in the dark and so it's it's basically oh, it's it's one of those funny things. Well, let me take the lid off and I'll show you. Okay, I paid a pound for this, by the way. Um, you, you've got some, you've got some, uh, you've basically got a couple of charts and you've got two jigsaw puzzles uh, that make up these uh, these it's these illustrated. Uh, okay, two large colour posters, a body fax booklet and two jigsaw puzzles so fun for all the family on a rainy Sunday afternoon. I've just noticed as well it's for ages six years and up so uh, that might explain why I had some difficulty trying to put it together earlier. <laughs> well I don't normally I don't normally buy anything with a jigsaw puzzle because I simply don't trust anyone when when you say are all the pieces there and they go mm, yeah and you just know that the chances are that uh, they, they've, there's no way they've taken the time well, to count them. There's let's, just no you should way. actually just say... How can anyone say, oh yeah, it's definitely it. there? Yeah. Well, as a little exercise, um, I bought this for a pound. And I counted religiously every single piece. One jigsaw puzzle is 200 pieces, and the other jigsaw puzzle is a mind-numbing 300 pieces. So I actually physically counted 500 jigsaw pieces right. and unbelievably they were all there well what do you know so first time for I just thing. bought I just bought this as an example because I was just just to see whether or not I lost out on the jigsaw or whether I got a result too big for eBay it's it's just pointless and I'm never going to get more than a pound at a car boot because when I say I've counted it no the counted the pieces no one's going to believe me so what did I buy it for? What, what am I going to use it for? Easy. It's a great present for the kids, isn't it? it you, someone in one's family is going to like this as a Christmas present. So it's a great stocking filler, down the car boot, a quid, and you have to pay, even on, even on eBay, you'd have to pay a fiver plus postage for something like this. So, okay. yeah? Yep. Okay, right. Excellent. So, another good boot sale haul. Yeah? You've done really well this week. Okay, thanks very much for watching.